to the first ever Beyond the Trailer and Spill.com crossover episode. This is our new show, Grace, Corey, and you. Corey, what do we do on this show? Grace, wait a minute, I thought it was called Corey, Grace, <laughs> and Corey. <laughs> no, I, you, you know, this we do. This is my contract. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm sorry, I'll tell you what we do. What we do is we, I love being interactive with people. So, in addition to you and I doing it like a big superhero team up, we invite somebody out there from the YouTube community to join us in doing our thing. Like so, yeah. our man uh, Pedro right here <laughs> <laughs> for president. So today we're going to talk about uh, the new John Carter of Mars trailer that just came out uh, and also the Mission Impossible 4 Ghost Protocol. And we're talking about animation directors moving over into live action. Right? And, you know, it's a good thing that we're talking about these animation directors because they're just not animation directors. You know, they just didn't walk off the street out of any old animation studio. <laughs> we're talking about some Pixar alumni. Yep. Andrew Stanton and Brad Bird. Yeah, and we got two Oscars there, right? Both gentlemen yeah. have Oscars. I think it'll be interesting to see how they translate in the process because when you're animating, you know, you have these whole worlds to play in, uh, and then live action, you know, you, it has to exist. You can't just dream anything up and digitize it. However, maybe, you know, Andrew Stanton can because John Carter of Mars is a heavily CGI film. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't mean to interrupt you. We're just talking over you, Ezra. Yeah. Ezra, you, you just <laughs> zoom, there zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah, what do, you, what do you want to say, Ezra? You, got, you look like you want to say something. <laughs> well, based on the trailers for John Carter, um, well, the one trailer that was released, I didn't see much CGI until the second half, and uh, it does look pretty cool visually, but the problem is that uh, I don't get a feel for the story yet. Well, I, I think it looks a lot like you, Tom. <laughs> and I think that I appreciate the realism they're going for, but I bet a lot of people watch that trailer and don't know he's on Mars. So are you trying to say uh, John Carter's a Mormon or something? <laughs> <laughs> Running for president. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here's the thing about uh, animation directors going live action. Animation directors feel probably more comfortable working live action today than any other time because thanks to CG and technology that we have today, what normally probably would have been cheaper to do or easier to do in animation, we can now make anything in live action and bring it to life. Well, that's actually a really good point because one of my pet peeves is they have these big projects, these big uh, action adventure movies that are heavily CGI, and they bring in a new director and they train him on the big movie. I'm looking at John Carter of Mars, man, okay. doing what something like Cowboys and Aliens is doing. It's like, and, and, and I'll tell you what, look. That's an excellent comparison. Well, it's, yeah. it's a Western that's kind of hard to sell. Westerns on their own are kind of hard to sell. When you bring in another, when you do a lot of cross genre bending and all that, it's, it's, I think it can either work to your advantage or throw audiences off a little bit more, but if you want it to work, audiences really have to know what this is. Well, so what do you think? Do you think it's a smart idea for an animation director to go, I want to go like real, super realistic for the Mars landscape. I want to actually, you know, I don't want to shoot on a green screen. I want to have like a real, you know, Western feel to it. Or do you think he should have been like, three moons in the sky, stars shooting by? I think he should have went with the Avatar direction and just made it his own creative and full visual effects. Mission Impossible 4 Ghost Protocol looks amazing. I think we're all jazzed about that. Yes. You know, the thing is, Brad Bird, he's not only, you know, you take him out of the project. First of all, he's great for this project. I oh, mean, perfect match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. look at The Incredibles. I mean, that that is a live action superhero movie. I don't care if it's animated or not. Take Brad Bird out of the picture, even, and I think that that go in the right direction with this property. It's about the team now. Well, what I think is so interesting about this new trailer is that my favorite shot is when Tom Cruise is in that, like, that dust storm and he has to get out of the way of the car that's like flipping out. And I just think that's so cool. And it's interesting because it's a live, that's a great example of live action, but using that animator's imagination to have something happen that you can only do with CGI and special effects. I don't know, come to Texas and drop. You see that everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be dodging cars and trucks and all kind of stuff. I think Mission Impossible looks awesome. I'm very impressed with the trailer. Um, I think Brad Bird is the perfect choice for it. Um, I love The Incredibles. I think it's a great animated superhero movie and I feel like um, the action in that film just proves that Brad Bird is ready to do something like this and that 
he knows what he's doing. A really great thing also that's very exciting is that, you know, animation is having some problems, particularly in like 2D and everything, and that they're just not attracting the talent right now. But if it's something that's crossing over all the time where you're like, hey, you can move between live action and animation as much as you want, maybe you'll have to start having, you know, the tide go the other way. You'll have live action directors going, you know, I want to make an animated film. And, you know, and then you just widen the possibilities up to everybody. Yeah, I, in, you'd be surprised. I mean, I think it's everybody's ambition at some point to probably direct live action. Let's not forget that Disney started out as an animation studio. I mean, doing both, yeah, live yeah. action mixes. Yeah, Walt Disney was the first uh, guy doing this stuff with his well, Alice cartoons. I mean, I'm a fair person. That's the first thing you'll learn about me, Grace. Ezra, look at me in the eye. Look at me. I'm a fair man, okay? And, I'm, and I want both these movies to do well. Even though oh, of I'm course. worried about one and I'm more enthusiastic about the other. Uh, it, especially me being a lover of animation, I want to see directors who venture out to live action do well. And so I'm, hope, I'm hoping great things for both these films. Well, I just hope they change live action rather than live action changes them. Ooh, that's profound. Look at mm. that. Well, I'm, again, I'm hoping for the best. For both, um, I'm more looking forward to Mission Impossible. That's definitely something that I'll be looking forward to seeing in IMAX, um, since it's shot with IMAX cameras and stuff like that. Um, I'm a little bit um, worried about John Carter, but who knows? It, it could surprise me. Maybe the next trailer will be fantastic. I, I don't know. I mean, he did do Wally and Finding Nemo. I love Wally. -E.